Hello everybody, so here we are, it's Tuesday the 6th of October, uh, I've recently made a couple of trades, the first one is I ditched my Nat stock, probably one of the worst investments of my life, but I will touch on that in a different video. Today's video, I am selling Uber, goodbye Uber stock, so let me show you where we're at with Uber. Okay, it, we're still in live trade now, it's about half five, so I've just finished work. Um, and here we go. Here is Uber, 83 shares. I'm up very minor, you know, on the grand scheme of things. Currently at just 36 and 0.59. And here's where it's, you know, Uber's been very up and down from, you know, loads of 33s, spiking about 37, dropping back down. It's recent down there again. The way that everything is going, I see it going down. I see it retracing. Um, you know, we we look at Uber's history. We've got a strong resistance here around the thirty dollar line. But again, that peak thirty seven. Got a peak here, thirty four, thirty seven. The only time it's really been above, and this was just sort of very early on. It hit that forty, forty one, and then along came Corona. And oh, ho, ho, to anyone who got jumped in and got it at about $14 a share, well done. Well done. So, why am I selling Uber? Great question. I suppose it's because of this. It's because of the dominant force in my portfolio, Tesla. Okay. Elon Musk is currently already driving around in a beta version of this. He's confident it's going to come out, and I believe the guy. You know, he may not always be on time with his timeframes, but he delivers. And just picture this, whether it's tomorrow, six months, a year, and okay, they go, right, Atomini is ready, robotaxis are being produced. What do you think will happen to Uber stock? What do you think will happen overnight to the price of Uber stock as soon as autonomous driving is realized? Are you talking about Right. about a 50% reduction in terms of a taxi fare. Um, in in some scenarios, you know, you've got Kathy Wood's projections of going from a $70 cab ride, um, this was, you know, from a recent interview that she did, down to about $10, $20. I mean, how are they going to compete? Why would you get an Uber? Why, you know, their market on businesses and you know people commuting and you know their delivery side uber eats fair play but as soon as Domino's or you know your mcdonald's buys an autonomous vehicle to deliver the food for them or and they find out a way but as soon as these technologies realized it's gonna be a slippery slope from there so this is goodbye ariba derchi sayonara uber it's been a ride i brought in Look, I ended up putting two, three, four, six, eighty-eight. I actually sold half my Uber. So just after the market crash and recovered. Previous to that, I was buying Uber in January, 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 and a little bit more in March. Um, and that was fine. So, you know, in terms of the thing, when did I buy in? Here, around here. Here's me. He's little, little crevice in here. So I watched it go up and thought, great. Went down like everything else. It went down a lot more than most other stocks I had, you know, in comparison. That percentage drop. And it's recovered. But I think that $37 is just going to be where it peaks. So what will I be doing with the funds? Putting into Tesla. I will consistently now try and buy Tesla. Um, and today looks like a good day to buy. Bit of volatility, all the way down to 413. I love that. Um, and let's have a look. You know, Tesla has been as low as 330. And I just want to average in where I can. Look at these. And this is where I'm selling, selling things on eBay. And I'm just transferring that money now into long term. And it slowed down my buying. Look, 23rd sip. September's the last time I brought um, in this account anyway. I have bought more since. There's different accounts. And I will still own 
credit where credit's due, Uber in my ISA. So I started this and look, um, and if you're looking at the Uber here, I have 12 shares and I'm up 40%. So um, these shares were bought at an amazing time, 26th of March, 17th of March, 12th of March. And look how cheap they were. One share for £21.58. Two shares for 36 on the 12th of March. Three shares, £45, 17th of March. So we are talking here. Now you can never time the bottom, but I'm very, very happy with those. And those ones, you know what? I'll keep them. I'm going to write this out. This is my ISA, so it's tax-free. I, you know, I, I've i taken it to its max now. Um, you know, so I will still own 12 shares of Uber on the grand scheme of things. Comparison to the NASDAQ today, let's have a look. You know, really uns a lot of uncertainty. Trump's got coronavirus. There's a lot going on, and it's just really been hit hard. A lot of volatility, and actually, if you look over the, yeah, the spikes, 13, all the way down to 205 there. 19 so it's really trying to find a place where everything going on but look at those returns what a year and here's march any money you pretty much put in the market in march has done you very very well for old cine world here going through there uh, we made seven percent today after the big oh, every reaction is an overreaction so well further ado let's say goodbye to uber goodbye uber Let's put it through the sale order. It looks like it's fighting back a little bit. Which, and this is it, you always get tempted to hold on. Is it really worth it? No. Okay. This will be then fed into... <laughs> Thanks, Sam. This will be all you fed into Tesla, probably averaging around a hundred pounds a day, um, or a figure yet to be decided, depending on how long I can make it last. And the plan is to pretty much sell out of everything else and then probably move those funds into Tesla. If I'm honest, Nubo is definitely one of my worst performers. It hasn't really seen much returns. I've ridden it out. I've seen gains. I've seen much lowers. It's recovered. It's bounced up and down. I don't think it's really going to go anywhere. And I think potentially towards the end of this year, autonomy will come out. Game over. Really, it's going to just ruin the business models. How will they compete? I just can't think of my brain. And I, if Tesla came up today and said, hey, you know, we're releasing autonomy late in the year, New Year's, say New Year's, would I expect the Uber stock price to be where it is now? Or would I expect be expecting it to be trading half, $20? Somewhere like that, and you've got to make these calls. So, goodbye, Uber. It's been a pleasure. Well, actually, no, it hasn't. I didn't really make much money out of you. It hasn't really much pleasurable. But I did have faith back in the day with your business model. I just, you just haven't executed. Boom! There we go, and it will probably soar now that I've actually sold. Uh, but it does mean I get to go over here. And look, the good old 420. Let's kick start with a nice 150 pounds. Or if we do 160, 170, where's that? Six five, six four. There we go. Let's buy half a share and celebrate. Money well spent. After battery day, I'm all in pretty much. I'm just going to average in. I'm not going to money dump. I'm just going to slowly release funds out of things. Ease into Tesla. Just keep doing what I'm doing. If you don't believe me, the one account, you know, and again, 2nd of October, 25th of September, 23rd, so I was buying twice on that day, 22nd, 
21st. You know, the 23rd, it was on 401, which is a good deal. I still made money off that now. And this was like a week ago, you know, this was... Right. Ooh, should have got it cheaper, really. <laughs> look at that. And now, look for the cost bases. There's no comparison. Uh, so I definitely dabbled with other things, but I'll do a bit more of a review in another video. Everyone, good luck investing. I will do a full case Tesla bull case for you. This is purely to say, I've sold Uber and I'm buying more Tesla and I can't wait. Bring on 2024. I think it's going to be a crucial and absolutely dominating four years, setting up to them to take the decade, if I'm honest. Do I see them bigger than Apple? Do I see them bigger than Amazon? I do. They're going off the biggest sectors out there. We're talking energy, batteries, storage, sustainable energy. They are the most efficient. They are the most cost-saving. They are one of the safe, <laughs> a safest vehicles, sorry. Their vertical integration is nuts. You know, the the foresight this company has, and even now they're mining, you know, even their battery technology, they've come along and in what, you know, how long have they been working on this? And they've built batteries better than anyone else in the world. Over every battery maker out there, they are mixing new alloys that they create themselves, new technology that they invent themselves, using new methods that they create themselves. Unstoppable. But anyway, run to one side because... I'll do a full feature length. Goodbye, Uber. Hello, more Tesla. Peace.